Hi everyone! I am here to update you on my Project Polish. Um, in the last couple of weeks I did finish one of my polishes so I will be adding another one in today. Um, I am not going to show you the ones that I haven't used um, but the ones that I have not used are this OPI Mini um, Just a Little Dangerous, this Ciate Dangerous Affair and this OPI taupe colored one. I haven't touched the three of those, but I have made progress on the others. So the one that I finished, as you can see on my color wheel, is this gold color. It was this OPI Mini. I absolutely love pairing it with um, the other ones that I had in this project. I'll probably be adding in another gold towards the end of the year because, I don't know, I just I love gold nails at the holidays. Um, so that one is totally gone so at this point I have finished four polishes I've finished oops not this one but the ones that have the blue um, this was Deborah Lippman Mermaid's Dream this was Ciate uh, Loop the Loop and these two are the OPI minis so um, I have this uh, taupe one left and these two darker like dark red and dark purple um, and those are kind of my fall colors, so on to this lavender shade. That is Trust Fund Beauty, just a little wasted? Elegantly wasted. Elegantly wasted, and as you can see, I am at the bottom line. So slow but steady progress throughout the year. Um, this was not, I mean, I did use it, uh, I think for two manicures or maybe a mani and a petty, I don't know. But it's just, it's not a summer color to me. So I'm going to set this one aside and I'm not going to work on it again until later in the fall. It's more of a winter shade. So I'm going to save this one, I think, until a little bit later in the year. And I'm really going to try to focus on these that I have left, these four. So starting over here with the orange glitter. And this is from Aunt. I think is how you say it and it is the GA020 and when I started it was completely full at my last update I was at that line there and now I am over the ri well you know over the hump um, I'm under the ridge at this point um, so I think it'll be a lot faster going now that I am down to here um, but it's kind of like you have to get a lot of coats on there to make it opaque. Um, it's beautiful glitter. I really like it a lot. Um, it's kind of a darker orange tone once it's opaque, once you add enough coats on there. So it's more of a fall kind of orange. Um, and so I'm going to use this one, but I'm not really going to focus on it. Instead, I'm going to use the remaining bright colors that I have left. This one is so hard to see through the bottle. Um, it's this CoverGirl Outlast, Outlast Stay Brilliant. And I took the label off in an attempt to try to see through it a little better, but it's just, I, I can't really tell where I am. Um, I have used it several times as pedicures. I love it that way, but at my when I added it in, I was about up to here, and now I just, I really, I can't tell where I am. So, I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully next time I'll be able to define for you more definitively where I am, but I have used it, so it must be going down. I don't know. I can't tell, but I'm going to keep using this one. It's awesome. It's my favorite pedicure color, so um, I'll just keep going. I do have it on as like little, I don't know, dots today over the green. I thought that was kind of fun, and I only did like one. Yeah. Um, but this next one is from Ulta and it is out on a lime and I have used this uh, basically non non-stop for the last couple weeks. Um, it's not on my fingers, it's on my toes, so I've made quite a bit of progress I think. I started at the very top and here's where I am now just above the word Ulta. So this one's going really well but as I said I kind of used some other polishes that I won't necessarily be focusing on for the rest of the summer these two I'm probably gonna set aside um, and pull them out again when it turns into fall in the middle of September so between now and then um, that's a month that's a lot of 
pedicures and manicures that I can really focus in on these two um, and try to get them used up and also on the one that I'm adding in. Now this one is from China Glaze and it is Flip Flop Fantasy and it's what's on my toes right now. It's not looking as bright I guess on the on the screen as it is in real life. It's a very like neon colored orange and I'm wearing it on my toes and I love it. It makes my feet look tan and I'm like not. Um, but it's older and so I recently got it um, and I hadn't used it yet but when I opened it up like it had I don't know dissipated uh, it was halfway gone um, and kind of dried out and it's a little bit gloopy now so I figured that I would add it in so I'm about halfway, maybe a little more because I have used it um, but I knew I wanted to add it into this project because number one it's for some reason I don't know, disappearing. And number two, because it's like the best toe color in the world. So I thought that I would add it in now, even though there's only a month left of summer, technically, um, because I can easily use that up in a month. Like it's a mini bottle, no problem whatsoever. Um, so my focus for, I guess, until fall officially starts is going to be these three. Now, when one of those has been used up, I will start focusing on these again. Oh, and my other ones, my red and purple and taupe. So far this year I finished four. I have eight left. So I don't know. I don't know if I should keep adding them in or not. It's getting a little nerve wracking. Last year I did so much better, but that's because they were mostly minis, and this year it's mostly full-sized ones. So I don't know if I should add one in when I finish off one next time or not. Let me know what you think. Put it in the comments below if I should keep adding them in, or if I should just focus on the eight that I have left. Let me know. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below, and feel free to leave me a comment. Let me know what you'd like to see in the future. Thank you for watching. Peace and love.